Hi guys, Ryu here with a new tooth for Blender hard surface modeling, uh, booleans on curved surfaces with clean shading on any geo. That's the theme for today. Um, three add-ons I'm going to be using for that, so that's box cutter, hard ups and mesh machine. And mesh machine is the main one here. And you can find a lot of info on mesh machine and machine add-ons like machine tools and decal machine on, on his uh, YouTube channel. I'm going to link it down in the description as well. And Master Z on 1001 um, is the guy you want to see for uh, box cutter and hard ups. He has a whole playlist uh, for hops cutter. As well as me, uh, um, um, I started to create some new tools for um, add ons for hard surface modeling. So you can uh, pop to my channel and see some new vids as well. I just finished a new course on box cutter. Anyway, let's get on with the uh, with the toot. So let's create a sphere, a quad sphere. I'm using hard ups to to create it, and um, let's smooth it out. Uh, also, let's turn on the uh, the screencast keys so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, and let's go to Y menu, which is um, a mesh machine menu, and click on stash. What it does, it stashes the information of the normals of all the faces. Now I'm going to use a box cutter uh, to perform a, a circle boolean in that mesh. Now, the important part is to, let's recall the boolean really quick, to stash the information of the boolean and the object as well. So I'm going to click on the object first that I'm using for boolean operation in this case is the cylinder then on the sphere and then i'm gonna press y and stash it again All right now i can apply the boolean so uh, the boolean is still live if i'm gonna go to solid mode you can see that the boolean is still not applied and that's essential you need to stash the cutter and the main object before you apply the boolean then i'm gonna go to operations and smart apply uh, by using hard ops. Now let's see uh, the geo. The geo is a bit of a pig, but it doesn't really matter because anything goes. Mesh machine is that good. It's an amazing add on, guys. You really have to get it. It's a no brainer for hard surface modeling. So let's select this edge. I'm pressing control, holding control, and selecting the whole edge. Now check this out. I'm going to press Y and do Boolean cleanup. With a mouse, I can change the mode of the cleanup. Moving mouse left to right, I'm simply uh, joining and merging all the verts. Then I'm going to go to offset and with one click and movement of my mouse, because I can scroll and choose whichever edge I want, uh, I mean whichever side I want this uh, offset to go for. And let's create something like this. Let's clean that a bit. So double G to slide it. Again, triangles, doesn't matter, I don't care. You see we have triangles in here, so um, it really doesn't matter. Let's select this whole edge and let's press B for bevel. Unfortunately, uh, automatic beveling from um, hard ups will not work with, uh, with this normal transfer function. So do not be lazy, use manual bevels. I'm going to select this edge and press uh, Ctrl and um, plus to select the uh, selection, I mean to faces outside this uh, cutout. And with Shift and Ctrl, I'm going to click on these bevels. Do not include bevels. The offset is fine because it was created on the, uh, um, on the sphere surface and it's not curved, but the bevel is actually curving. So do not select bevels uh, for the normal transfer operation. Now I'm going to go press Y, go to normals and transfer. Now you can see I have two stashes, right? Stash one and stash two. Stash one is this, um, the Boolean object and stash two is a sphere. Choose a sphere and press OK. Now let's go to the mod cup selection and let's see what we got here you can see that the shading is perfect it's not good it's perfect and to illustrate it further i can use this mod cup it's flawless and again my 
My geometry is an absolute pig. And you don't really need this, um, you don't really need this edge, the offset edge, you can, you can do without it. So, um, if I wanted to create another cut, now you see the cut looks a bit weird because we transferred normals. So the shading looks a bit off. It's got a similar effect to as if you were working on a weighted normals a geometry. So, um, if I add this cube and apply a bevel to it, right? And then apply the weighted normals. If I'm gonna perform a cut in the geometry, it's all fine. But what happens if I apply the weighted normals? It's gonna be a mess, you see. So to fix that, I would need to apply weighted normals one more time, right? So that's basically um, let's delete that. That's basically what happens in here. So until we transfer normals again, the shading is gonna be a bit off. So select the the modifier again modifier then the object press y stash it then we can hide this apply the boolean right select this edge with control and you know what let's move this one a bit further because it's gonna cause some problems okay select this booleans and by the way if you um when you use that boolean cleanup operation, make sure that you don't have other edges selected because you're going to have an error message being displayed. It needs to be a, um, a closed loop, right? So not an open loop, but a closed loop. Boolean cleanup, um, merge the edges. And now let's go without offset. So if you want to go without offset, you want to make sure that um, there are no harsh angles um, go into the beveled area you see because it's gonna create a weird artifact so i'm just gonna shift this edge in here and dissolve um dissolve this edge here and maybe connect these two just to make a smaller these faces a bit smaller and i think we're gonna be fine so let's select this edge very quickly bevel it right now let's select the bevel. So now we're doing it without this um, offset ring. Selection of two is enough. So control plus and twice click, twi I mean, press plus twice to select these faces outside and we're good to go. So white, go to normals, transfer. Now you have three stashes because we have stashes from this Boolean as well. So the uh, blender will remember all the stashes for this object. Which is great because if you do any changes later on to the mesh, you can always recall your stashes, right? So press OK and there you go. Again, perfect shading. We can just bevel this face in the bottom, so it's fixed. And that's how you use booleans. In hard surface on curved su on curved surfaces with end guns and triangles and that's how you create perfect shading but wait there's more let me show you one more thing so i created another uh cut really quickly and you see that the um the bottom of this cut is not really flush like in these two right this one i fixed very quickly with a bevel but quite frankly, um, it's not the perfect solution for it. So if I want to fix the inside, what I want to do is go to the face, uh, to the face mode, right? And let's bevel this edge here as well. But this will not fix the issue. So I'm going to go to my wine menu and go to my uh, normal transfers. Now I have to find this um, uh, this cutter here, which is a, a stash number four, and you can see that. This is the this is the correct stash by the wireframe of this cutter here, and now what I can do is uh, by holding control, uh, you could change the mapping of um, of the normals between nearest and projected, but um, that works best I think on elevated geometry. So let's say if you boolean something not inwards but outwards, but in this case what I want to do 
is let's go again let's select normals transfer and this guy and then if i'm going to press f i'm going to flip the face and i tell you why if we're going to recall this cutter right let's move it in here we are looking at the face inside which means in fact this face has a correct orientation but this face inside doesn't so if i deleted this face and change the view here to not wires by solid but solid right and go to show you face orientation you see the inner face is flipped right so this face technically is flipped so the normals are flipped in a way right so they curve so they curve this way right and point that way not this way so um that's how you can fix um this issue you simply press f to flip the faces and now if i'm gonna go to this uh mod cup you see everything is fine right so that's how you can fix the um um the interfaces of the of the bullions well hope you enjoyed the vid guys hope you find it useful and uh, happy cutting talk to you in the next one